happiness success family this video is for anyone who wants to experience greater quality and better quality emotions such as joy to feel exalted to feel incredibly grateful to feel so uh, uplifted empowered happy on a consistent basis this video is definitely for you so really this is all about mindset and kind of giving yourself permission because sometimes, and, and I'm sure you've done this before in your past, you kind of reduce the quality of your emotions and your feelings, your state, in order to kind of mesh in well with other people's states. Sometimes you're really happy and you look at the people around who you're with, like a, a sibling, a parental figure, some, uh, a cousin or a friend or what have you, or a colleague or whatever, and you're in a great mood and you see that they're not really in a great mood and you're like, you kind of calm down and, and oppress, sub suppress your own feelings, really. Um, quite sad, but it, it's our need to fit in and our need to, it's us being quite empathetic and not wanting to upset others uh, by enabling them to compare themselves to your life and, or what you're experiencing then and there. But let's put all that aside, because in society, we have a massive problem. And the problem is, is this, I mean, we tend to do more of what gets rewarded by our peers, by society, okay? So what I mean by that is when you're really happy, when you're experiencing really powerful, strong, uh, uplifting emotions, you don't really get much attention, positive attention from others, do you? What tends to happen is people don't really understand, I mean, why is that guy so happy? Why is, why is she smiling all the time? Why is she laughing all the time? She seems like she's got no care in the world. She's got to grow up. Yeah, she hasn't experienced life enough. She's got to mature. Being silly, we're always happy all the time. But when someone is quite down, lethargic, inert, tired, exhausted, irritable, frustrated, angry, suddenly people understand. Come here, buddy. Like you'll you'll be all right. You'll work it out. We tend to get more attention through negativity and by being sad and people tend, mostly because people tend to empathize and understand those emotions more. And it's kind of like they want to make you feel better. It gives them some kind of significance or purpose perhaps as well. But let's put all that aside then. I, I am attacking society. I'm, I'm attacking, uh, attacking societal norms because the problem is this. Most people, are, most people, their main emotion is one of, let's just call it low energy. But entrenched in this low energy is really all kinds of negative emotions such as sadness, depression, anger, frustration, stress and so on and so forth. And then we've got experiences such as joy, right? Or happiness or glee, whatever you want to call it. And what happens is most people spend their lives around here. And only every now and then will they enable themselves to experience some form of joy. So this is ex extremely, this is a fleeting emotion. Extremely brief, very rare, outlasting seconds, minutes, rarely hours, right? We, heaven forbid we give each other, uh, or give ourselves hours to experience this emotion. I mean, that would be crazy, right? But most people are content here. They've taught their unconscious to remain here over time. They identify with their identity. I'm just a tired person. I'm just quite fatigued. It's just the way I am. And they just become numb to it. They become used to it, familiar with it. And the familiarity keeps them within that box. Anyway. So the problem is this. We need to flip it on its head. Now, if I had the strength, I would have flipped this whiteboard upside down. But what I'm going to do instead is, really, we need to flip this. If I'm being honest. Because, well, we're not flipping in that regard. But what I'm saying is, essentially, we need to, we need to experience joy more often. This needs to be the norm. And this needs to be fleeting. This is what we need to aim for, guys. Like, 95% of our existence in life should be one of happiness, joy, satisfaction, pleasure, gratification, gratefulness, appreciation. And every now and then, should we, like, lament or feel grief or sadness? This should be a... A, 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 a small moment like and it, be, it should be momentarily uh, 
experienced or accepted like say when you lose a loved one or a friend or when someone close to you uh, loses a job or something or they were presented with or relationship ended or something like that you that's when it's an appropriate time to experience these kind of emotions but the problem is everyone's got it the wrong way around and this will take practice because what i'm asking you to do is to change your identity you can experience this now the more you say i can't it's just stupid. I don't have the energy to always be happy. I mean, what is this? What kind of drugs do you want, Alex? Calm yourself down. No, I'm high on life. You, and so should you be. Regardless of your past, you can't live in the past. Regardless of if you had a difficult childhood, some really bad breakups, people lowered your self-esteem, you were abused, and you went through some difficult moments, I can appreciate that. I, I do empathise, sincerely. But the more you live in the past, it's not going to help you in the future. Because you can't be stuck in the past... You need to change your unconscious. And that can only be done through repetition. And by doing certain activities consistently until we begin to associate it with who we are, our identity. And when we begin to associate it with who we are, our identity, that is when the, the action, the emotion becomes automatic. And then you have people saying, well, why are you? Every time I see you in a good mood, you're always happy. I just say it's just the way I am. Don't blame me. It's my unconscious. Just what I'm used to. And what you what happens is when you get to this experience and you and you understand the difference, you've got that contrast because you know you know what these feelings are like. You just don't want to go backwards. When when you're living life in this area, you you refuse to stay here. For longer than hours or days or the appropriate time to lament or grieve over something you just refuse because you know what life is really about and you know what is accessible you know what you can experience but it is a choice so my friend which one are you going to choose and what do you need to do to make that transformation i'll tell you what can help visiting my website at www.alexgem.com all you need to do thereafter is click where it says join PHS today enter your credit card details and you'll gain instant access to the most revolutionary course you ever take in your life it's going to take you from wherever you are now no matter how wealthy you are how happy you are how energetic you are how productive you are what kind of great momentum you've got in your life we're going to take things to the next level you, didn't, you probably didn't think you had another gear you're about to find that gear. Conversely, if you are someone who's depressed, inert, low self-esteem, no guidance, no vision, no clarity, welcome aboard the Alex Gem train. It's going to be a good ride. I can take you from where you are to where you want to be. I will hold your hand and guide you through that. This course, the power system, is going to give you all the power you want in your life not only that i've thrown in there three incredible bonuses hours of exclusive video footage podcast material and a hundred audio segments to keep you on track to keep you progressing that entire package along with the bonuses are really worth one thousand two hundred dollars and i'm charging it for my maths isn't the best but we're talking about i don't know less than ten percent less than ten percent i can't believe i just did that i can't believe i'm giving you that offer go get it now you, you commit when you get that course you've committed the crime damn it you should be ashamed of yourself you should just send me extra money say Alex I can't do that man I feel bad all that you give me anyway get your hands on it and start transforming your life right now if you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook or you've done or you're on my website and you've clicked that link that I told you to click where it says PHS today scroll to the bottom of that page and you'll actually see a course outline and some of these sections have segments that are set to preview so you can actually get the worksheet the written word the audio content and the videos for free for that particular segment so you can essentially try before you buy i offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on that course as well just to give you that extra reassurance so there's literally no reasons no excuses to not take part and if you are questioning hmm, ha, maybe another time not for me alex you need to question those thoughts because that's those are the exact same thoughts that are keeping you behind stagnated go get your hands on it you're blown away uh you might as well since you're at it you might as well get my book 
at www.alexgemstore.com. The Art of Power, Happiness and Success. Ooh, it's a beautiful read. It's a beautiful life. Get your hands on it. And you can also get it on Amazon as well. Um, well, so if you're watching this on YouTube, oh my goodness, click the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell because uh, every single week I release several videos such as this um, and you're going to want to keep up. You're going to want to stay on board. Um, not only that, some of the videos I can't actually uh, launch on like Facebook and Instagram. It's just too long, really. Uh, you're going to love those episodes. So definitely uh, subscribe to the channel for some additional material to help you stay on track. Like this video if you found it beneficial. And I can't wait to work with you. I'll see you soon.